it's review day and we're gonna do this thing chapter seven yeah remove tuner I don't need you anymore uh, dime series seven string um, yeah I figured it was time um, <clears throat> I wanted to state that in my previous video the audio quality got fucked up because the program that I was using was on sorry I had to just that just a little bit the program I was using was on auto um, when it came to the audio enhancement can't replace me for the fail. Uh, all right. It was on auto for the audio enhancement. I just said that. <laughs> Basically what happened was it jacked up the audio of the guitar and added some weird ass... I don't even know what the fuck how to describe it. The noise reducer was on. 100%. And if anybody knows anything about video production or anything about uploading videos or whatever, for anybody that watches my channel that's done this before, you know that you don't want that <laughs> in a guitar track that's being recorded from a camera microphone because it will fuck everything up. But luckily, the Focusrite is now hooked up, so it's being used to do the audio for this. Oh, uh, speaking of which, hopefully that projects a little clap sync there. So, about this guitar. Um, mahogany, everything, at least I think. That's the only thing I don't know. <laughs> I'm really prepared for this video. Anyway, um, but it's 24 frets, uh, 7 string, uh, tunematic bridge, uh, EMG 81 and 85s, and normally, now, normally the 85 is up here and the 81 is down there, but I haven't switched, so rather than move them back i figure just to show a little bit of difference in tone and something something different i guess in general um because one volume one tone and the way the mg's are set up normally the 81 and the bridge and the 85 in the neck um i have it switched because i bought the solderless kit um to get rid of all the extra crap inside of the cavity um, cause they don't, they don't come installed like that. So you have to buy the kit in order to do the solder list with the MGs, which is stupid, but Hey, you know, I'm not Schecter, so I don't get to tell them how to make their guitars. <laughs> so, um, what I did was I have volume for both pickups and no tone because I don't really use it all that much occasionally, but not enough for it to warrant me having one on there. Um, so that I like to, uh, have a kill switch without having to install one so basically I just roll that off and I have my kill switch down um, you know to slice up some whatever up in there when I'm doing my solos and uh, Tuscanut um, Grover tuners and like I said normally it comes with you know the pickups switch to where I have them right now but uh, you know, I'm going to keep it that way just to give you guys some, some different tones. Because, I mean, you can watch. There's tons of videos out there. Probably even of this guitar. Not tons of this particular guitar. But just tons of videos with the, you know, the EMGs where they usually are. Or when they come from the factory in the box with the guitar. So, anyway. Um, like I said, I have it mic'd up with Focusrite. Uh, studio shit. So... Start with a clean tone. Um, I had a little reverb on here. 
and the reverb is coming from the Sky Surfer. So, might even do a review on that sometime. Which, by the way, sounds disgusting, but is actually not, surprisingly. So, you kind of got the gist of the clean tones. Just for reference, 81, like I said, is in the neck position. It's not usually that way, but this is what it sounds like. Just in case, if you have EMGs in your guitar and you want to switch them up, now you have a reference. cabinet that I have kind of uh, rigged up here. So the two speakers on top are the EVH speakers. The two on the bottom are the speakers that came with the MG cabinet, the G12s that are put there in there for the MG. Not the, not the newer MG. This is, um, I'm pretty sure this is an HD effects cabinet. If you watched my previous video with EV8, it's the one that got fucked up. Jeez, <laughs> uh, yeah, the one that got screwed up. Anyway, um, then I explained what I did. Um, because I have the cabinet down here that came with the amplifier that I bought with the amp, the 2x12. But I ran into something when I had a black star combo that my dad didn't want anymore and I didn't like the tone all that much so I sold it. And long story short, because I explained all this in the other video, I was running those speakers from the combo along with the EVH cabinet and there was some kind of conjoining craziness that was happening that sounded very, very pleasing. So I decided to try it with the MG cab and actually make a 4x12 out of the, 80, uh, the EVH speakers. And surprisingly, it worked really well. So you might be getting a little bit of both, but primarily the microphone is right by one of the EVH speakers. So, yeah. Just letting you know. Channel 2, which is the blue, and again we're going to start on the bridge pickup. <laughs>
we're going full gain now. So here we go. Oh, I'd just like to mention that EQ wise it's where I normally set it, but I'll give you a shot of that after I'm done playing so you know, you know, what's going on. play for the next couple minutes make it a 15 minute video so anyway if you like this guitar check it out like I said it's the Dector uh, it's the Schecter Platinum Series uh, or the, the Platinum 7 it's the Diamond Series guitar um, so yeah it's sound guitar um, works really well um, it is I don't know if you can see that but it is uh, it is a set and it, it looks like a through, but it's actually a set neck. It just, they did a really fucking awesome job making it seamless as hell. So, yeah. Strap locks I installed. So it comes with regular buttony buttons like these. And this weird silverish matte color shit, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and the binding is strange. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but... Eh, you can't really see it. It's almost like it looks like it would glow in the dark, but it doesn't. It's weird, or maybe I just haven't tested it right. Um, but it, it's it's kind of strange. I, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Thank you. 
Went a little bit longer than 15, but I don't think it really matters at this point. Next, I'll do a, a quick test of the of the Jackson because I it's not stock. I modified that. Um, it has no neck pickup. I got rid of neck pickup. I really don't know why. <laughs> no, but that's a project guitar. Um, so when I do that one, I'll probably just give you the tone of the bridge and then beat the whammy bar into submission and try to break it and whatever else. Just so you get, you know, an idea of how that works. And, you know, that'll be pretty much it. So, because eventually I'm going to be putting Seymour Duncans in that guitar. Um, a JB and the 59. Um, so, yeah, uh, keep your eyes out for that. That might take a little while because I'm a little low on cash. I've been low on cash for a while. My ass can't get my shit together. <laughs> Anyway, um, like I said, if you like this video, please subscribe, support me. It's it's a big help because I'm still an up to coming YouTube guy. Um, I've been a musician for I've been playing guitar for almost 12 years, so I've had enough experience up to this point. I'm, I'm trying to make a career out of it, but things just aren't lining up for me, man. I just I had a friend that says he's trying to get us some other bandmates and we just ain't getting anywhere with it because there's nobody around that, you know, they're either in previous projects that they're committed to and can't jump with us or something else. So anyway, any support that I can get, um, I greatly appreciate it. And of course, I don't owe somebody one if they don't want to help me out. but. Uh, as far as my channel goes, shoot me a comment if you have any questions. Feedback is wonderful, uh, will be taken and uh, reflected upon and whatever else. And, you know, all that jazz. So, anyway, peace out and uh, see you guys in the next video.